Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Modicky, and I am a board certified Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. Part three is male facelifts. People have to realize when going in for a facelift surgery, we should be doing a different surgery on men versus women. Why? Different aesthetics, different facial features. All of these things can be changed when doing a facelift. So particularly in men, people should think to go extremely conservative. In men, we do not want to give away the secret. We have to be very careful in not overfilling, making features feminine, and also the vectors of pull and different things we're doing. We have to be careful in men because men have beards and sideburns and things that can be moved into strange places. In the earlier days, we've seen some male facelifts that are extremely recognizable and the men ended up looking feminine or strange. And that's because possibly more of a female facelift was done on a male patient. Because in the early days, they weren't really distinguishing between different types of facelifts. It was being done behind closed doors. And I don't think the surgeons were necessarily discriminating as much now as far as changing the technique for males and females. One of the major things in men is the hiding the incision and not making things look strange. Because remember, men are going to be wearing long hair. You can see incisions on their face and their neck. So we have to be able to hide that. And so in men, particularly the sideburn area here, if things are pulled back, you're going, they're going to lose their sideburns. They're going to have their beard literally pulled into their ear, or pulled back. We've seen this in, in several different patients over the years. Again, I mentioned Joe Biden earlier, but you can see that his hairline and a pull near his brow and the side looks off and that's possibly from a facelift. I think even more noticeable are patients like Mickey Rourke. A lot of people talk about him and the plastic surgery he overdid. And again, it's somebody who started out as a very attractive man and then changed his look completely to almost unrecognizable. And part of that is, you can see again, the pull of those lines and the unevenness in his neck. And when he turns, you can see all of the, the dents and dings where the face lifts and, and things didn't quite go as planned. He looks strange in the brow because the hairline, I think, has been pulled back. I think his sideburns have been moved. I think there's a lot of things that happened in his surgeries that ended up making him look unnatural rather than a younger version of himself. Two other male celebrities that really scare male patients are Burt Reynolds and Kenny Rogers, and I hear it a lot. And the reason, again, I think is that they had older techniques done. You know, you're looking at pictures of Burt Reynolds, you can see him changing from this, this handsome leading man almost into this feminine surprised look. And that I think has to do with a couple different things. One of them is the facelift. You can see the telltale signs on there. Again, the pulling and strangeness in his face and his animation, as well as pixie ears and things on the side of his, his face and neck here where he's trying to mask what was done. Also his hairline was pulled back. His sideburns were pulled. You can tell that it looks a little unnatural. And then lastly, the I think one of the biggest no-nos with male plastic surgery is a brow lift in a male patient. Be very careful with it and you can see that their look changed. Both Kenny and Bert, both of them looked to have had brow lifts and upper eyelid surgery and what it did was change them from this prey eye kind of dominant male look to this surprised kind of feminine, effeminate kind of look to them. And I'm not sure that's what they wanted, but it certainly was very recognizable and changes their, not only their appearance, but their expression and the way that people perceive them because it changed from that, that strong stern look to that surprised kind of dare in the headlights look. And I think that is a little bit what ruined them. If they wanted to reverse that, again, difficult to lower that brow, change the eyes, change those vectors. So I think once they had gotten to that point, it's sad, but I think it was hard for them to reverse what was done. So. That's why I'm cautioning patients, be careful that, you know, again, that brow lift in a woman might look very beautiful and rested, but in a man, in a male patient, it can ruin them. It can make them look feminine and different, and that's not what we want out of pretty much any of those surgeries. And secondly, those, those vectors and the changes in their face where it looks unnatural is going to give them away, not only on camera, but just in person, they're going to look different or strange. Now, on a positive note. <laughs> I think there are some good facelifts out there, patients that are examples of, of what you can do to look younger without looking strange, and two of them that come to mind for me are Robert Redford and Clint Eastwood. I think there's many rumors about them having done surgeries, and there are times, I think, where their faces, they were looking a little older, and all of a sudden they looked younger. But it wasn't extreme, and it wasn't overdone, and they didn't change their eyes, and they didn't change their brow, and they only did subtle things to their face and their skin, and tightening things up to look better, younger, rested. 
but not strange, feminine, or weird. So I think that those are some examples of good male facelifts or good surgery to make a patient look younger, but still themselves.